so to start off in this one talking about how to make plugs i'm going to need three pieces of equipment just my scissors i've got a little awl here but you can use a very small crochet hook if you find that easier and a dog grooming brush mine is quite grubby you can have a nice shiny clean new one if you'd like to um, mine's had a lot of use I like to use ombre um, for reroutes because I think it looks nice, but it's also an ideal first reroute um, style of hair to use. So ombre is also known as dip dye. It's when one end of the hair is a different colour. I think this looks really cool. And also it's handy because as a beginner, you will always know where your top is and where your tail is, you will always know which side is your root and which side is your end. This hair has been washed and dyed and when I brush it, I start at the very end. And when I don't feel resistance, I move up the hair. This way you're not tearing the hair, you're not creating any more split ends and you're keeping that nice, shiny, silky texture. So I'm going to undo the band on this hair. It's likely the bands will break because these bands have been heated under hot water when the hair was dyed. Oh, this one survived. And the top of this hair is quite felted together because it's been stored and kind of thrown around and thrown around and it's not, um, it's not been brushed through since it was washed. So I'm going to start at the very top and I'm going to work my way down. Just working out all those knots because I don't want to tear them out, I want to comb them out. This is one of the reasons why it's really important that you don't lock and loop the hair because when the hair fibre is um, not straight, when it's going against each other or in this case where it's just kind of knotty, it will very easily felt. So I would not recommend lock and loop for alpaca because you will end up with a reroute that looks like this. Because I know these fibres are mostly going to be facing the same way, I'm very confident that this isn't as bad as it looks and will be able to be brushed out. Whereas if they were facing in different directions, I probably would just throw this chunk away. Okay, I'm gonna pull these two apart because I can see that one is longer than the other. So I'm gonna separate that into two pieces of hair. I'm gonna wrap the bit I have brushed around my hand to keep it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna continue combing out the top of my hair. Now that my top is combed out, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to try and get up to this bit here because I know that's where the last of my knots are. And I keep flipping it just until I'm not feeling any resistance. I'm definitely still feeling a little bit of resistance there. You can also flip it over the other way so that you're looking at the side of hair that was previously against the board. Okay, that feels great. Just going to double check this purple end. So you can see how that could get quite confusing if I didn't have one end dyed a different colour. And also now that it's brushed out, both ends when teased look very similar. This is why I'd really recommend an ombre for your first reroute. 
and if you are using a single colour, nice and early, I would say, get those scissors and where you can see the shortest hairs, chop across. Ooh, because you don't want, you can see here, we've got some very short hairs, like just here. And if we don't chop where the shortest hairs are, we are gonna lose them when we tie our knots. So now I've got this to work with, I'm gonna move this one out of the way. And I'm gonna get my, oh. So the nice thing about alpaca is that when you comb it, it pretty much separates itself into club, into plugs, sorry. There we go. I don't know if the camera will pick it up as well, but there are almost the lines the whole way through um, from where it's been combed. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a little bit of hair with my awl, separate it out, and then I just use my hand and I push down on there. So if you've got particularly dry hands or particularly moisturized hands, sometimes the hair will stick. So I'd recommend moisturizing a little bit before you do this and wiping off any excess moisturizer onto a towel or something just so that your hands aren't sticky. So in slow motion and talking through it, I'll prise up a little piece of hair, remembering that I want it to be smaller than my crochet hook, which is one millimeter. And I tie one knot in the end, pull off any excess hair. Then I tie a second knot and I push it right up against the first knot. And then I get my scissors and I snip the end. So I keep doing that, keep making plugs until I've got enough for a reroute. For a neo reroute, I personally like to make a thousand plugs. I know that's a little bit excess, but because my plugs are so small, a thousand of them fill up the head and they lie very naturally because they are such small plugs. So all I'm doing is separating it out tying one knot reasonably near the end, another knot right up against it. And because, again, my plugs of hair are so small, I don't use any glue to secure them because the knots themselves are the kind of knots you would have to cut out of your own hair if you ended up with hair that knotty. So I'll just make one more. And one knot, two knot, and snip. And that is how I make plugs.